It is a massive new effort to map the connections that make up the brain. As humans, we can identify galaxies light years away. We can study particles smaller than an atom, but we still haven't unlocked the mystery of the three pounds of matter that sits between our ears. A mystery that has long been among the great questions of science. Leonardo da Vinci pioneered early neuroscience research, providing physical explanations of how the brain interacts with the body and how we interpret the world around us. Efforts to the new initiative will continue. It's a huge, important step towards understanding how the brain connects with other parts of the body and feedback from the body to the brain. The Obama administration will request $100 million from several government agencies to start the project in the next year. But many scientists say exactly what the initiative will do is not clear. I think that the goals and endpoints are on the vague side, but I personally see that as a positive. Why positive? For one thing, doctors hope that any new research efforts could produce unexpected leads toward treating brain disorders ranging from autism and strokes to Alzheimer's. And perhaps most important, scientists welcome a new promise to spend money on research at a time when science budgets are getting squeezed ever more tightly, especially for younger researchers. People who are worried about whether or not they'll be able to continue their vital research because of cutbacks in funding and the sequester, this may be an important motivator that they can continue with their research or continue with their science. Science to unlock the secrets of those three pounds of matter that make us who we are. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.